Not a question, a comment. Many don't seem to be able to accurately articulate the mechanisms of how illegal migrants are able to enter the United States, who is funding it, and how it decimates the middle class. The illegal migrant invasion is an unholy alliance between the elite business class and the Democratic Party. How it functions is the government funds non-governmental organizations, so-called charities and nonprofits, who recruit migrants in their home countries with a listing of job openings for participating employers who are actively recruiting illegal migrants for cheap labor and will supposedly sponsor them when they arrive. When they arrive at the border after being assisted by these organizations, processed illegally as an asylum seeker, given a court date years in advance, given a brand new iPhone, and released into a resettlement program funded by the U.S. taxpayer. They are then resettled to the location of a recruiting, participating employer who is now required to meet the minimum standards of minimum wages, health insurance, or the like, because they are so-called asylum seekers. They are then housed in housing provided for or subsidized by the U.S. taxpayer. They receive resettlement payments each month for the US, from the U.S. taxpayer. Meanwhile, the employer gets cheap labor and often feel enslaved as the employee cannot leave due to their legal status without any of the associated employer cost because the taxpayer funds their housing, food, medicine, healthcare, law, education, etc. So in a cruel twist, the middle class losing jobs to these illegal migrants, but at the same time funding the expenses of those migrants. Oh yes, that's exactly what's been going on. One big fat scam. 